Every year I want to be in a Christmas commercial. You think maybe I'll, I'll, I'll still have time to get cast in one? No. And this is the third year that I'm making my own Christmas commercial because I was in cast in one. So my friend Vittoria is here and she's helping me make this one extra special this year because she has a fancy camera. And also I'm not by myself, so there's Vittoria. <laughs> Hello, I am videographer for the day. I try to post these annual Etsy Christmas commercials way before Christmas so that if you're interested in purchasing something from the shop, you can and gift it or whatever. But um, it did not happen this year. And here we are on Christmas Eve and I'm gonna finally share this year's Christmas commercial. This shop isn't really a shop, I just had skates. I pretty much already destroyed my vision board from 2022 because I'm making the one for next year. but. I had skating on my vision board. One of my goals this year was to be in something that was Christmassy and something that had to do with the skates. And two birds with one stone because this commercial is going to have both. Sometimes as an actor, you get hired for something and then you don't get a job for like a month, weeks, whatever. So you have time in between. So something I love to do is come up with an idea, contact local filmmakers or friends that are filmmakers and, and create something. In the position of the filmmaker, the creative of all of this, um, I got heavily inspired by uh, the Etsy commercials that are running. I always look at their commercials just to get like a vibe of it. It's like, if I was in an Etsy commercial, what would it be? So my plan this year was to make the commercial 15 seconds, like a short little spot and make it super emotional, heartwarming, like make somebody cry. I was very specific in everything I wanted, but I still realized that my, like my creative side in doing this, I'm still not great at it. I think I'm getting much better than like 2017, 18 me of like making random little things like this. Just some of the shots didn't work out because of my decision of how I wanted anything. So this was a really great learning opportunity for me, even though I'm just doing this for fun and I want to be in a Christmas commercial. Definitely recommend it if you're also an actor or a filmmaker, do some little spots and experiment with your creativity and what you're doing, what camera you're using. Like I've been using my phone. I personally think it's fine. Where I know a lot of filmmakers are like, I need the specific camera, the specific lens, specific lighting. So it does make a difference but as somebody that's learning I think just use your phone just be creative just have fun like that's how you're going to learn by doing it a bunch of times not by trying to perfect something and that like perfect how you're approaching it or how you're gonna do it and then doing it I really really believe in doing it again and again and again and again until you get better at it and you're able to finally do it and here is this year's Christmas commercial Create your own traditions and share them with the ones you love. Etsy has it. Here's this same video, but from 2020, if you want to see like my creative process of when I came up with the idea and hopefully I'll keep doing this. Maybe next year, instead of me being like, okay, time to film the Etsy Christmas commercial. Um, it'll be me filming a behind the scenes of filming an actual Etsy commercial. How fun would that be? I'm putting that on my goals board for next year. Where is Etsy based out of?